Hey, hey, all right, everybody. Now, somebody messaged me, I think it was two or three days ago, let's say two days ago, um, and they said about used EV sales are up. Now, I like to do stories of when EV sales are up. Now, I like to do them, but then the anti-EV clan come in and they try and poo-poo it. Um, you know, they try all different ways. They try moving the goalposts. Moving the goalposts. Um, you know, they try all sorts of things. They they do all sorts of things to try and make it look like it's barred, okay? So, let's see if they can make this one look barred. Now, as a challenge for you anti-EV people, let's see how barred you can make this story, okay? Because, you know, you do try. I mean, i got to give you 10 out of 10 for trying um, to try and make every EV story bad. So let's have a crack at this one. If you do see this video and you're anti-EV, try and make this story look bad. You'll have a go anyway. So, right. So it's from the SMMT again. And it says the used car market hits five year high. That's not the whole story. Um, and it says as EVs reach record share. So EVs have reached a record share in the used market. Now, if you go and look on certain channels, uh, you know what I mean. The ones who make money from hating EVs. You know the ones, they, they try and think up a new story every day of a different angle, how to hate, it, hate an EV. I know I've said it before, I know I'm repeating myself, but anyway, if you go and look on their channels, you'll see lots of comments saying, Nobody, who would buy a second-hand EV? Nobody's going to buy a second-hand EV. Nobody is. Nobody would buy a second-hand electric vehicle. Well, that's not true, is it? Well, I've bought a second-hand electric vehicle. My daughter's bought one. Uh, I've known, I know a couple of people who've bought second-hand EVs. Um, so anyway, let's have a little look, a little peek further down. I know I'm rambling. I know I'm waffling. If you don't like waffling and rambling, this is not the channel for you, okay? <laughs> Right, okay, so let's get down to the nitty-gritty of the uh, EVs. Now it says, increasing numbers of battery electric vehicles, BEVs, are now entering the used sector, with Q1 sales up by more than two-thirds. Uh, it's up 71%. Up 71%! Um, and there was 41,505 used sales of EVs in Q1 of 2024. Okay, I said, this makes BEVs the fastest growing powertrain as more buyers are attracted to the potential cost savings and environmental benefits. Hybrids have also continued to sell in greater volumes. Uh, what does it say? Changing hands, 49% rise. Plug-in hybrid FEVs grew in popularity as well, up 42%. But BEVs were up 71%. So... There's your challenge, anti-EV people. Have a go with that one. <laughs> now, because you all, every, all them lot were saying, nobody's buying, nobody's buying new EVs, nobody's buying second-hand EVs, but people are buying them in both ways. I know they're going to shout fleet for the first ones, but like I've said before, fleet sales, doesn't matter if it's fleet sales or not, they end up in the second-hand market. So there you go. Now, the other story I just wanted to cover quickly because it all kicked off when Elon Musk fired the supercharger team, it was a certain team, something to do with the superchargers. He fired them, and then the news, the media, they all they all jumped on and said, it's the end of the superchargers. Now, I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. Um, but some people thought it was. For, I'll give an example by here. I got it, I got it written down by here. Uh, this person here, Ronick Q46. Best not to mention Tesla has fired his whole supercharger team. Don't shoot the messenger. Um, but I did say, you can mention it. I don't mind him mentioning it. <laughs> and I said, tell me what it means, question mark. He didn't tell me what it meant. So, I don't know. Um, you most likely haven't any idea why Elon did that. Media getting in a frenzy over nothing. As far as I'm concerned... Uh, the supercharger network is still going to be expanded and the people he let go were obviously not needed. And I went on to say blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so the, the mainstream media were kicking off. 
Sandy Munro <laughs> threw a he done his nut. Sandy Munro threw a fit. Um, he wasn't quite happy about it all. Uh, so he did a video. Some people disagreed with him because he went a bit too far. Some people said he's, you know, a bit too far up Elon Musk's you know what. Um, but I think he sort of, I think Sandy Monroe knew that it wasn't the end of the supercharger network. I think he knew, well, he did, he knew that, he knew that. I thought that myself. I couldn't be 100% certain, could I? But anyway, nonetheless, or nevertheless, what is the saying? Is it nevertheless or nonetheless? I don't know. Um, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Let me get rid of this rubbish on the screen. Go away, you. Uh, I think it was yesterday, 10th of May. Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced on his social media platform X that Tesla is not going to abandon the mighty supercharger network. Even better, the company plans on adding thousands of brand new DC stalls by the end of this year. Um, I think it said Elon Musk says he will erect thousands of new supercharger pedestals in 2024. I think he said something like, was it? I can't remember the, I can't remember the number. Uh, he threw a number at how much they're going to spend. Oh, I'll write it below because I can't remember what he said. I should, I'll, I'll put the tweet for there as well because I can't remember that either. I'm reading this from another, another article. I'm reading it from uh, Auto Evolution. But um, he tweeted or X'd uh, on X. <laughs> it was much nicer when you said somebody tweeted on Twitter. But now you've got to say somebody exited, X'd on X. And it just sounds terrible, doesn't it? Why did he mess with it? I suppose because he didn't like it because it was somebody else's. Somebody else came up with that name. He had to get his own name. Anyway, I'm waffling again. So he said that the supercharger is still going to go full steam ahead. We're still going to spend money on the supercharger. I, like I said, he just got rid of the... It's probably that they weren't needed to, to do what they had to do. So it's just, you know, that's what he does. He cuts people if they're not needed. He chucks them in the stingies. He chucks them away. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. So, right. So that was the, cup, the two stories I wanted to sort of get off my chest. Um, bit of a waffle. I, I, I've uh, been quite busy, so I haven't had much time to make videos. So I thought I'd just shoehorn this one in quickly. And if you did like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ho-hoi! Ho-hoi! <laughs>